Good day everyone. This is the um, component tester I bought today. Let me just take this protective plastic off. So. The Digitech component tester. And I got this from JCAR for $59.95, normally about $100 I think. Model is QT2216. It came in a like a pack with that. And it's got instructions, which fortunately you don't really need. And what it does is it identifies semiconductors. It does it really well. Now, if you open the back of this up, these clips will clip in each of the um, clip holders here. And you can stand it on an angle like that. Isn't that neat? So you can have it as a guess a bench. Let's see if I can put the camera up here. Yeah, that'll, that'll do till it falls down and I, and I curse. So it's essentially a component tester. You can plug your component in to the leads with these connectors and you analyze it. No component detected because there's nothing there. So if I turn this off, which I will, now I'm going to connect this it's a um, like a power transistor I guess 2SC1173 so this is an old transistor I'm going to hook these leads up in no particular order I don't know which is which so the green blue and red Whatever it is, I don't know. It's just a, you, know, you turn it on and it analyzes. And you give it a couple of seconds and bang. NPM silicon transistor. And you can go through the details. It's telling me the red is the uh, emitter, green is the base, blue is the connector. Gain, current gain 64. Very low gain, of course, because it is just a it's just like a power transistor base emitter voltage, test current, leakage current. So it gives you those, it gives you about four little pages of details um, in regards to this transistor, which I think is neat. Um, handy if you've got like a junk box full of transistors and you're not really sure which one might substitute for something you've got. So I'll just try something else. We'll turn it off, hold this button down for a moment. Let's try something else. Let's try the ubiquitous. Um, here we are. A brand new, never used BC548, the workhorse of the hobby transistor industry. Everything has a BC548 in it. So, again, I've just pulled this out of its holder, like it's, you know, they come in those paper racks. I've just pulled it out of that. Oh, excuse me. And uh, green there. I know the pinouts on this one, but I pretend I don't. And blue. So we'll analyse NPM silicon transistor. Red is the emitter, green is the base, and blue is connected to the collector page down. So the gain here is a lot higher. These these transistors are a higher gain transistor. So this is a handy device. Um, what you can also do, and I'll put that back, let's try and trick it. Let's put an LED in here. So an LED. Don't know what way I'm hooking this up. Let's uh, fire it up and see what it says. See if we can't confuse it. LED or diode junctions. So it's telling me the green is the cathode, blue is the anode. See, it's identifying it. If you've got LEDs and you've cut the um, wires on them so you don't know which is the longer wire and the cathode and anode, this thing will tell you. So, pretty handy. So that's uh, an LED. 
and there was another one here that I wanted to show you, but I'll just got to see if I can find it. Ah, oh, yes, I think this is it. This is a transistor. I have no idea where I found it or got it. I've obviously pulled it out of a piece of equipment because it looked impressive. So I thought, I wonder what this is. I think I actually tried to research it and I couldn't find anything online. So I hooked it up and let's have a look. Analyzing <gasps> N channel MOSFET. See, it's identified as not just a normal transistor. Drain source gate. 3.3 volts, 2.5. They don't really have a gain on these, so that's why it's not giving it to me. But this is a handy piece of equipment. I got it from JCAR, as I said, and I paid about $60 for it. I think it's worth every cent. Thanks for watching.